Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and this is part 7 of our automated build deploy test with Team Foundation Server 2015 and Selenium. So in this part we'll be talking about deploying application and Selenium framework from Team Foundation Server 2015 in a remote machine. So before watching this part I would request you to watch part 6 since in that part we deployed application and Selenium framework from Team Foundation Server 2015 in a local machine and this video is going to be a continuation of that video so so this video series is a part of our ALM with team foundation server video series all right so let's get started so for that I'm gonna to flip to team foundation server so in the last video we were trying to deploy our application in our local internet information server and we saw how to do that using the visual studio build and the command line tool so this time we're gonna make a little changes here and there and the only change which I'm going to do to deploy in a remote machine is by changing the command line argument that we did in the release.deploy.cmd. So there is an additional command as we already saw in the previous video where you can pass the parameters like the machine name, the username and the password so that it can easily deploy the application in a remote machine which you can see from here in the release.deploy.readme.txt here you can say the, the command and slash y for installation and slash m for the computer name slash u for the username of the machine the remote machine and slash p is the password for the remote machine so if you specify that then application will be deployed into that particular remote machines internet information server so First of all, we need to see how our remote machine is going to look like. So I'm going to open the Hyper-V Virtual Machine Manager and I have already Windows 8.1 running in the remote machine. So I'm just going to connect that particular machine and it's going to ask me the screen resolutions and it's going to connect there. And I'm going to sign in as an administrator this time because administrator have all the privileges to install the test agents and all those stuffs so which we'll be discussing in upcoming videos so I'm going to log in as an administrator this time and this is the Windows 8.1 machine and if you go to the E colon and sorry C colon and if you go there to the inet pub www root you can see there is an applications configurations file as well as the applications actual files which is required for making an application up and running so what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy the files from a remote machine to this machine so in this case the remote machine is going to be our server 2012 R2 which is our host machine and this is our guest machine so what I'm going to do I'm just going to delete all the files so right now I don't have any files in here and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make little changes in my existing build definition by adding some additional arguments right and then I have added the machine name the username and the password there and I'm just going to save this build definition and I'm going to say enable remote deployment and I'm going to hit OK. I'm just going to queue the build. So I'm going to hit OK. So if I run this build definition right now, instead of deploying my application in a local machine, it's going to deploy in the remote machine. And you can see side by side what's going to happen. So right now in the side, I have Windows 8.1 machine up and running. And the build server is also running, which is nothing but our team foundation server. All right. Now you can see that the files is starting to copy there. So all the files from my team foundation server is being copied to my remote machine, which is nothing but my Windows 8.1 machine and the build got succeeded. And now if you open your application in this machine, you can see that the machine will just open like how you open in your Windows Server 2012 R2 machine as well. So I'm just going to navigate to the local host and you can see that my application will open in this machine. All right, so now as you can see, the application has completely opened in my Windows 8.1 machine and now you can do exactly what you did in our Windows Server 2012 R2 machine as well. So this is how you can deploy your application in a remote machine's internet information server using your build definitions. So that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.